Levi. Oh, the ball has been spilled and Truman has picked it up. Referee says play on and Darrell Offords will do that. Darrell Offords will dot that ball down. And referee Jack Smith without hesitation awards the try. Truman's intervention. And Darrell Offords with his eighth try of the season. And talk about against the run of play. It's been all Huddersfield. It's Castleford spending most of the time deep in their own half. When they get inside to Huddersfield territory, they come up with a try. It's a good tempo, isn't the Bill? I'm just having a look in front of our gantry position. A lot of players in cast shirts. Just breathing in the deep breath. It's been a ferocious pace. There's pace from Truman. There is pace from Truman. He's, he's looking for, for some support. He won't need it. He won't need it. Jake Truman will get a superb solo try. The coach applauds. The Menderhose jungle applauds. And Jake Truman, who created the first try for Darrell Alfords, gets the second of the night. And he makes something out of nothing there. And Smith coming onto the ball. Inside the 10. Four tackles gone as McShane picks up. Here is Westerman. Westerman onto Truman. Truman floats the ball out. It'll reach Darrell Alford. And Alford will stretch out for his second of the night. The referee is going to go to the video ref for the first time this evening. Ben Thaler is the video ref. The try. It is a try in Jack Smith's mind, but now it needs the video ref to have a look. And the suspicions of everybody in the ground confirm that Darrell Alfords has got his second of the evening before half-time. McGilbury desperately trying to stop the ball reaching. Go, go! That's just a contest, still five! It's just a contest for the ball, still five! Seniors done well. Claiming that ball, and now it's Lola Heyer who finds McGilvery with the kick. McGilvery tries to get the ball down, he does get the ball down. But surely he was in touch there. Touch judge right on the spot. I think he's got it. Referee Jack Smith reckons he's got this ball down before he hit the whitewash. So at that point, if that is at the same point as at the front, and there, can we just jog that back, please, to make on that one on the front angle to make sure he doesn't lose it? I'm happy he's not in touch because of what you've shown me there. If you can keep it going, fingers there are on the ball. Well, that is a remarkable finish from Jerry McGilvray, who got his 200th Giants try last Sunday against Hull Kingston Rovers. His 201st is a remarkable piece of finishing there. Unbelievable finish. Well, it's good scrambling defence up to a point from Huddersfield, but Edwards has got away, Edwards has got away, and given it to Jake Mamo, and that is a wondrous tie from the Casper Tigers. They kept that ball alive, and then Kenny Edwards put the afterburners on, and Jake Mamo put his foot to the floor, and Mamo extends the Tigers' lead with his fifth of the season. Here is Innes Senior, and that, that is impressive, given what Huddersfield did to Hull Kingston Rovers last time out. Yates. Here is McQueen. McQueen is determined he's going to get on the score sheet, and he does, Chris McQueen. Gets his 11th try of the season, and goes ahead in all competitions for the Giants as top try scorer, with his 13th in all campaigns. Hang on, it's Luke Yates, Luke Yates on the charge, and it's going to be Will Price who'll finish off. Luke Yates couldn't make it two in a row with uh, another long-distance try, but Price has got the finish there. They've been so defensively solid and committed, and then they've just allowed uh, Huddersfield to pick up two, say, soft tries. 